here. Where you can change your thing. Yes, but I don't need it. And if you do that, it places down. Let's go. LMB. Yes. I want to say this. And to construct something, it's you. And then it goes forward. As it goes backward, it goes up. And it goes right. This is the, we call it the subject exploration room after it's all been organized. And I'll just quickly show each shelf here. Uh, down here is just some, some of my papers to go through. And then we have the world shelf, which is the geography and history. And we have some maps and books and um, little souvenirs from around the world which we are adding to and then we have a giant map of the United States that shows population density and then this section here is uh, toys for them to play with so sometimes we do a little bit of playing in between learning or use the toys to build things that we're learning about um, so cars and Duplos and train tracks and um, something called rock and bach in there. Then here is the math area, and so we have some workbooks and flashcards and some things to use for counting, dice, money. Um, down there is just some numbers and an abacus. Here we have our whiteboard and dominoes, which is. A favor there is it can be used for science or math and this is the science area and so we have some kits and some dinosaur bones and science tools rocks collect collections and things um, to collect items in and then books and stencils down here and then this is the language area and we have some writing on the walls and workbooks, and miscellaneous letters, uh, two electronic word games, and then some books down here. Then we have a box of gears they play with and a table. And so that's what it, the current state of the subject exploration room and if I get a chance, I'll make some more detailed videos about um, the different items on each shelf. But so far, it's been about a month or so, and this has been working out for us. Okay. So this, this is the homeschool area in our living room. And here we have um, just sort of what they're playing with lately, Minecraft and this Tall Tales game. Then we have our white erase board, some letter and word games, this is our supplies, scissors and tape, construction paper, white paper, our magnet board, and in here we just keep scraps of paper so we can use them for other projects. These are sort of ongoing drawings and projects and miscellaneous and some foam and some more current drawings. We sort of just toss things up there before we sort them. And then we have crayons and uh, more pens and usually colored pencils but they're somewhere else right now. And we have this little art, um, just a plastic board to do art on. And Even clay. Yeah. And um, some workbooks. Oh, here's their notebooks and graph paper. What's that rolling pen? Yeah, the rolling pen. And then here's some workbooks and coloring books that sometimes they um, 
do nothing too structured but sometimes for fun we'll do our books then over in this area bookcase that books stacked up and usually that's never organized and then we got a coffee table hand-me-down and we turned it into our little lego station and uh diplos 